So then water will go here. This needs tilled and planted. Watermelon seeds. Oops, not that one. I need sandstone on that one. Eventually I'll probably try and extend that out as far as I can. Um, it would involve more digging, and I just did a bunch of digging, so I'm not going to show you guys any more digging for a couple of weeks or something anyways. Um, yeah. So now that that's that, we can put in some sandstone here. Let's go ahead and fill it in with sand. I will dig it out again once I'm ready to do that because I feel like is that okay that'll just kill it um I feel like I'm nice and ready I don't yeah let's just keep it open as much as I can anyways um I don't need to fill everything back in with sand. I can I can leave this type of stuff open. Um, fudge. I need to... Okay, I'm going to do this the risk-free way and just cut off. Uh, go ahead. Ah, to hell with that ladder. Forget it. Um, I do need my bucket. And I need to take out that piece again. So we can, oops. Um, okay, so do this without breaking anything else. All right, because if that had broken in there, that had broken, that would have broken the, uh, the redstone wiring once again. So that would have been very bad. So put water in, take water out, and put those back. So there we go. Now, oops, I probably should have done all the water at once. Yep. as well do that. Um, I could have just ran, but that seemed easy enough to just do that and let it fix itself. Huh, I don't know. We're getting a little mumbly, but um, we are almost done with our automatic melon farm. Um, yeah, doing a good job. Um, put some sand in there, make that continue to flow. So yeah, now that this is done, I also need to put on some... I have one to plant. Um, I need to plant this up, and I need to put some half slabs over top of it. So let's go get that done. Um... Trying to think if, if the wiring, the way that I did the wiring, if I could go in there and make the other part of it automatic. I probably should, but I might not do that right now. Um, try and keep a little more variety in this uh, Let's Play series. What did I come back for? What did I come back for? I came back for half slabs. Let's see if we have any extra. Nope, we don't have too much extra. So we'll make some... Let's see, we need to make something like 20. So let's make a few extra. Alright, that will hopefully be enough. Oops, I should have grabbed what other melon seeds I had. Let's do that. So I'll plant up the melons and drop down some half slabs and probably end the episode there. Well, that's all the seeds I have. 
And I need to craft up some seeds. Um, okay. <laughs> that is kind of funny how I can point at that little flower and it'll place a block next to next to it. It's actually easier to jump in the water and walk backwards slowly than it was to try and aim each hit. But, okay, so we need to grab a couple melon seeds. Good thing is that those are easy to come by. It's weird that I was like it turned it as I was hitting it. Or does it turn as you look at it? That's kind of funny. That's weird. I don't know that I've ever noticed that before. Um, yeah, I guess it is fully nighttime and I'm going to go to sleep because the last time I stayed up through the night, it was not good news. I need to get some torches out so that shit doesn't start happening too much. So have a good night. See you guys next time. Alright everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Minecraft. Um, so, uh, this time we... I don't really have a plan for this episode. Um, it looks like we need to harvest up these melons over here. Because they're not automatic yet. And now that I do this, I realize I really need to make this automatic too. This is not good. Not good. Um... Now that I do that, forget about it. Let's get let's get all this wheat. Um, that is gonna take some time, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the volume on my headphones because this is kind of a loud noise to try and talk over. Yeah, wheat is good. Wheat's good. Um, let's make sure that I have plenty of space in my inventory carrying around all of that stuff because as you notice I was failing to pick up everything <clears throat> um, if there was one thing that I would change about Minecraft I feel like I would add inventory space um, I don't know how much more I would probably say a whole nother row of inventory space um, not infinite because I know that it does add a challenge to the game as far as you know you can't go you can't go caving forever because you end up running out of wood or something, you know what I mean? Like, if you do go caving, you have to decide, do you take more wood? Do you take water with you? Um, stuff like that. You're, you actually... You, inventory management is a, 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 it is a challenge to the game, and it's a good thing. But I feel like I'm spending way too much time on inventory management. I would rather just be playing the game rather than be stressed out about my inventory so much. Um, once in a while, a little bit is fine, again, but I would just change it a little bit. Uh, again, anybody that can help me uh, with my wild NPC problem, these guys just kind of have a mind of their own. I'm... Definitely need to figure out a way to get them corralled so that I can trade with them easier as well as keep them out of my damn wheat farm because they're trampling on my crops. And I'm worried about like hitting this piece of wheat because I don't want to hit him. That one time that I died it was because flipping iron golem came and smacked me after I smacked one of the NPCs, so don't want that to happen again. Even though I just kind of go walking along, just swinging at everything in front of me, it's probably not, probably not a healthy choice. But, uh, that's how I play. That's how I play Minecraft. That's just uh, what I do. So now that we've got this almost harvested, um, what shall we do next? Um. I need to get my tools enchanted. That's something I need to get done. Um, probably will do do that later. Um, 
once I have like a clear hard drive space, um, I'll be able to do that then. Um, let's get some bone meal and get those melons growing properly. I only have 12 bones, really? That's surprising. Because that, that skeleton farm over there should have given me a lot more than that. This must be stashed somewhere. Anyways, it'll probably be plenty because this gives me three. I'm not gonna not gonna craft it all at once. Just gonna use them as needed because the bone meal really isn't that useful. I could be I could go drop it over there on that wheat. And I could just continue to farm the wheat forever, but I won't. It's, it's really only useful on like melons and pumpkins and stuff to get this stock s just started early. Because um, <clears throat> the way that melons and pumpkins grow, they um, the you plant the stock and then that stock goes through several stages of growth. You can see this one is smaller than this one. And there was a couple others that were bigger and then once it gets to a mature stock, then it will start to sprout the melons and pumpkins. So if you can skip that step and not have to wait for it to grow, it will start sprouting your crops sooner. Um, where is wheat over there? Just kind of wait for it to grow. I don't know. Um, it's not as useful. Uh, let's get that build in. Let's do three. Three of those there. Drop that one, two, and three. All right, so those should be sprouting here pretty soon. In fact, one of them already did sprout. But we'll go ahead and flip this, flip it back. Probably need to turn that into a button, which I think I can do without any problem. Ooh, maybe not. Um. I'll just leave it a switch for now. No, I won't. I don't want to. I don't want to settle. So let's let's get that done. Um, what do we need to do? We need to put some sand down. Make that one more. Make that one more. Make that one more. Um, that'll have to be a half slab here. Do I still have the half slabs? Those I put away. Did I put them away? Okay, there it is. Um, so half slab goes on this one and this one. That is stone again. No. It goes there. And the button goes there. So then we put redstone on each side, going down each direction. That connects. That one. I can't see if it connects. But we will grab one piece of stone. Should I use a stone or a wood button? I think stone. Actually, let's use wood, because that's something I've never used before. I've never ever used a wood button, and there's no other stone in my village. There is wood doors, however, so we'll use a stone button. Cool, looks to be working good. Um, seal this back on up. it again. Cool. So the advantage of a button is it retracts it on its own. And I don't have to press it a second time. So that's cool. <clears throat> it is, however, mildly awkward in the way. In the walkway, that is. But that's cool. Um, should make it like a 
different type of sandstone or something. That'd be cool. Let's do that. Let's make it that. I want the chiseled sandstone and the flat sandstone. I think the smooth sandstone will be good. Full inventory again. Um, drop that and that'll be enough. So I just need to do two. Frame rate's dropping. Uh, frame rate's dropping bad. What is going on? Am I, am I running out of space? No. I got a little bit of space left. Frame rate is dropping hardcore. Wow. What the heck? Uh, yeah, starting to have some problems here. I'm, I don't know, I'm down to like 5 or 10 frames a second. This is bad. Urgh. Urgh. Can't even walk around. Anyway, it's getting to be nighttime. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode and end my play session here. Um, get things rendered out and get my hard drive cleared off again. And, um,. Yeah, I will see you guys next time. Have yourself a good night and a good evening. And next time I will get that sugar cane farmed on up or harvested up and probably go build something over there. So uh, have yourself a good day or evening or nighttime or afternoon or morning or whatever time of day it is that you're watching this. And we will see you guys next time.